What's going on everyone? As always, place the cross on first. I got a little time. So guess what I'm finna remind y'all to do? Put your cross on no matter what's going on. Put your cross on no matter what's going on. You know, you ever saw that video on uh, that, that little meme on Facebook when the world is in flames and this person just walking with his Bible in his hand, not being bothered by it? You know, you're going to see the evil, but it's not going to affect you. This goes hand in hand with what I was talking about earlier. The watchman. You're being watchful. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever amen you know people don't like the you know why a lot of preachers don't talk about false prophets and false teachers and stuff like that because half of them are i'm gonna tell you something about real teachers they don't mind talking about it because if they false they're gonna be exposed too i tell everybody all the time i'm not perfect spreading the gospel i'm not perfect I'm a man just like anybody else. That's why you see me do what I do. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be perfect. But the thing I'm trying to do is put the word out there in perfection. You know, when God says he knows your heart, he knows it. He knows if you're going to be real. He knows if you're going to be fake. And the thing is, people don't even read the Bible. Like the tares of the wheat, right? Now, you got to think about it. Every time God talks about false prophets and false teachers, he's not talking about unbelievers. He's not talking about people who don't believe. He's talking about people who claim they believe. That's what a false teacher is. <laughs> who claim they believe, but they teach circumspectly to the Bible. They don't teach accurately. You understand? But think about the tares of the wheat. What did Christ say? He said, he'll let them grow together. He'll let them grow together. But the thing is, we know about the tares and the wheat. He said, Satan sows the tares. So the people who are sowing tares in the harvest are people who work for who? Satan. It's very self-explanatory. You understand? So that's why Jesus said, many will come to me on that faithful day. Lord, haven't I prophesied? Think, think what he said. Haven't I prophesied in your name? <laughs> now think about what he just, what he was talking about earlier. False prophets. Yeah, you did prophesy in my name, but you was wrong. Haven't I done this and that in your name? Uh, and thanks for the work, but I don't know you at all. You understand? Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. That don't, that, that don't cover people who don't believe at all. That's the people who supposedly believe in Christ. That's why he say hypocrites will be appointed their portion in the lake of fire with the unbelievers. Two people, two groups that's going to be in hell. Hypocrites and people who never believed at all. The hypocrites are worse than the unbeliever. Or actually, they're in the same category. It's no different. You understand? And I tried to do the nice, the nice preaching, the nice teaching way. It don't work for me. You know, like I tell people, the more you read that Bible, man, you're going to see things that don't add up. But there's a lot of false teachers up there that bring in false doctrine. You got to watch out for them, too. Oh, read this Bible. I read this outside the Bible. Okay. Uh, all right. I ain't going to even listen to you. you. You know what I'm saying? You one of those forever learning, never able to come to the knowledge of the truth type people. <laughs> you know, you still believe in the third eye. You still believe in crystals and all this other stuff. There's many of them out there that call themselves Christians and do the exact opposite of what he say. You understand? Because people are like, well, I believe in God my way. All right, then. Let me tell you something about that. When you start saying that, just believe and know in your heart you have been condemned because you have leaned on to your own imagination and to your own understanding. Now you're thinking, and I know how God is according to what I think and what I believe. I always talk about my ex-wife. She's a pagan. She was like, oh, I believe in Jesus. And like, she'd be like, I pray too, but you don't pray to the same people. You then she will say, I don't like God. I don't like his daddy. So you acknowledge that Christ is Lord, but you don't like his daddy, but you don't really believe that Christ. You know what I'm saying? There's so many people on the fence these days, and these people will fool you. 
that make you think they believe I believe the same thing you do. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. And there's a lot of people that claim they believe the same same Bible. The Bible says us to be on one accord. Now, looking at this, look at this world we believe in and we live in. Now, Christ is dividing the world from His people and everybody else. All His people are gonna be on the same accord. In regards to scripture, in regards to the truth. You know, I relate more to Geno Jennings than any other person that's on uh, the evangelical leaders that's on the TV. But I don't find that strange. And guess what? Geno is hated. He's hated by other evangelical leaders. They didn't always, they didn't always, they didn't try to force him to even step down at certain times. You need to stop preaching. You need to stop doing what you're doing. You know, you're not doing it accurately. Because he's exposing them. When you start exposing people by name, they're not going to like you. Jesus went through exposing the Pharisees right in their faces. I'm sure he called some of them by name. And even in the Bible, it said, if, if we were to write down all the acts that Jesus Christ did, no book could contain it. So he did so much more than what we think about and what we know. But that don't mean start looking for other doctrine. Because he made the Bible perfectly. You know, he didn't tell you everything in the Bible, but he told you everything that you need to know to keep yourself from the evil one. You understand? You know, prosperity gospel. You got people fake healing. You got, now, in the, like, take the Bible, for example. Normally, before Jesus cast out a demon, they was acting crazy. Falling out, throwing themselves in the fire. Now look at the church today. When you see people supposedly being cast out with demons, they get knocked out or they're on the ground shaking. It looks like they're doing it reverse. It looks like they're giving people demons. They're giving people evil spirits. Pay attention now. They didn't start acting crazy when they was healed. They started acting normal. So what is all this? You understand? So many people faking, speaking in tongues. I believe blasphemy against the Holy Spirit cover a huge array of things. But you know, a lot of preachers don't want to talk about blaspheming against the Holy Spirit because they do. Think about what he, what he explained in far as with blaspheming the Holy Spirit. They was calling evil good and good evil. They was calling Christ evil. And they're going to call us evil. The true believers, they're going to call us something wrong with you. <laughs> you understand? He said, that's never forgiven. Think about it now. So many, imagine how many people, because some people try to say, no, you cannot really commit the unforgivable sin. Uh, why is it in there then? It's like, and then this goes back to what Paul or one of the disciples said. He was like, there's a sin not leading to death. I advise you to pray for that. You can pray for that. But there's a sin that leads to death no use to pray for. Like, when you get your discernment level heightened, there are some things and some people that you're not even going to bother praying for. I remember when Kanye West first came out doing his Sunday worship. I believe he came out too fast. I'm going to be honest with you. I believe he was a rookie. He was a novice. I believe he didn't supposed to stay up there. He didn't supposed to step in too quick. And also, I noticed one thing about when he spread... His supposed Sunday worship, he never read from the Bible. And then you got to think about it. It's the same man that rewrote the Bible and put his name in there as God. He replaced everything that said God or Jesus with Jesus. Now, to me, I don't know for a fact, but that seemed like some unforgivable junk right there. He said, don't add to my word or take away from my word. Right? So you took away from the word and added your name and you did both in the same book. You understand? And everybody was jumping on this bandwagon. You need to stop talking about King Gateway. He found God. Why? Because he's an idol? Because he's rich? Because he's famous? You know, everybody who finds God, should, everybody should be rejoicing over. But it's because he's in the mainstream. And now look at him now. Crazy again. Because he never stopped being crazy. It is what it is. But some of the people jumped on his bandwagon. Man, the same man, same man that was selling Jesus King shirts for $150, $200. And people rushing out to buy them. Just because they say, 
Jesus is king or Christ is king or however he did it. You can tell somebody about money. And I believe he used the word of God. He used God. He used Jesus' name to advance his empire. And then he went back to doing what he'd been doing. Then he so two-faced it. I'm going to expose the Jews. Then the next day, I'm going to talk. I'm going to be with the Jews. He said a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Now, pay attention. Kanye West is very unstable because he's very double-minded. I don't mind talking about people as long as it's the truth. If I'm lying, you can expose me too. You can be like Houston. You are so wrong on that. And if I'm a true child of God and you corrected me and it's right, I'm going to be like, thank you for correcting me. I was wrong on that part. Appreciate it. You understand? You know, there's so many people out there that's designed a mission. You know, you know how many people jumped on his bandwagon? Then he started a cult. Started building his Jesusville or whatever he was, his new kingdom over there. And now, where is he now? Is he still doing Sunday worship? I don't know. First of all, I was like, that's wrong anyway. If he was so woke up, why are you doing Sunday worship instead of Saturday worship? Uh, anyway, that's a whole nother story. I pay attention to everything. I don't even watch the news. I just breeze through my feed and see what new news is going on and I go from there. I watch a lot of movies and I learn a lot from movies too. I ain't gonna lie to you. God can speak to you and tell you things through so many different platforms that is amazing because God, he said all things work for the good of those that love God and are called according to his purpose. All things. God can speak to you through anything. You're going to start seeing God in so many different forms and fashions that nobody can't trick you. You understand? Nobody can't trick you. You know, like TBN, take TBN. Majority of those folks are not true believers. I'm just being real with you. But they don't put the real preachers on there. You ever notice that? They don't put them ones that's fire on fire for the Lord for real. They want people, they want people on there who are going to push their agenda. You understand? I was watching a music video the other day, and I, I was writing music at the same time, but the music video came on with Toby Mac. I didn't watch the song yet, but all I was seeing was Jordan's name brand clothes, and I was seeing paint drip across the screen in the form of a rainbow colors. Uh, I ain't even got to watch the song and know what they're pushing. It's like basically trying to say everybody's accepted by God. That is true to an extent if you repent. Yes, you are accepted. But if you don't repent and you stay in your evil ways, you're not going to be accepted by him. No matter how many times we know that Christ died for our sins. Not for us to continue to do things that's obedient, disobedient to him. If he says certain people ain't going to inherit the kingdom of God, what makes you think we can live our lives in a way differently from what he says and make it? Because he died for our sins. I tell people all the time, the Old Testament Jesus was very forgiving very forgiving but very rash you saw we did did a Sodom and Gomorrah because it wasn't that many it wasn't no righteous people there oh he knows righteous judgment yeah that was Jesus for all you who want to mistake and think Jesus only in the New Testament walking around you're crazy <laughs> Jesus was walking around through the Old Testament they just didn't know his name yet they didn't know who Jesus was what well, well, he said, should I tell my servant Abraham what I'm about to do? It could have been an angel saying, because we don't, the angels don't look at us as servants. I mean, we are not, they're not over us. <laughs> angels ain't over us. So it could have been an angel saying, let me tell my servant Abraham what I'm about to do. So it had to be well, somebody else. It had to be Jesus Christ. <laughs> do you understand, people? In human form. <laughs> Talking to Abraham. You understand? You ever watch that that, that uh, TV show about the Bible when they went through? And they were showing Jesus throughout the Old Testament. Now, that was pretty accurate on that part. Now, they messed up a lot of other parts of it, but that was pretty accurate on showing Jesus in the Old Testament. You understand? But all you got to do is study to show yourself approved and don't listen to every teacher. You understand? Like I tell people, you are not always going to have the Bible with you. But you are going to have it with you spiritually. The more you eat it. 
That's why he said, man, does not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out the mouth of God. So you got to eat the word. You got to eat it every time you read it and soak it in. Let it manifest in your body. And then the more you know it, you're going to be spitting scripture. Don't even know you're spitting scripture. And you ain't going to be like these, these heathens out there. 12, 12, 12 says... Uh, John 3, 1 says, you ain't going to be doing all that because Jesus didn't do it. His disciples never did it. They just talked about the Bible. <laughs> you know, it's a reason why they got them earpieces in their ear. <laughs> if you ain't figured that part out yet, you might still be lost in the sauce. You think they wearing those things for nothing? No. <laughs> That's all a part of their gimmick. Oh, I got to hear right. What you got to hear? From the voice of the Lord through the uh, <laughs> oh man, through uh, through some false teachers over there that you got. That's what it seems like to me. That they're up to something else. You know, I don't have no earpiece in my ear. Why they gotta have an earpiece in? Here? You understand? Jesus never spoke with an earpiece. <laughs> Now look at that church is starting to look like clubs, nightclubs. I used to club all the time. And now I can't tell the difference from a church. The church dark is on the way. That's an instant red flag to me. Why the church so dark? Wow. Look like the skating ring. You understand? No windows, no nothing. You understand? Wow. They'll have a 20 minute worship song. Saying the exact same words over and over again. Boy, you taught me a lot. You taught me Jesus is King. You taught me so much for 20 minutes. It's very vain repetitions. It's like, oh, Lord, you taught me a lot. You told me Christ is King. I love hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah for 30 minutes. Lord, have mercy. That's not the gospel. The gospel is not just saying Christ is Lord. That's not the gospel. We know Christ is Lord. Tell me something that lets me know how to live and how to act and how to walk. You know, even the even the demons know Christ is Lord. Don't let nobody know who I am. That was Jesus so hurt. Better shut your mouth up. I know you know me. Come on now. The demons, every Satan know who Jesus is. So we gotta really learn to test the spirits, people. Let me pause and I will continue.